The Workers' Party will also release its election manifesto this weekend. Party chairman Sylvia Lim has confirmed the timing during a news conference where five more prospective candidates were introduced. It is our intention to release the manifesto uh, this weekend. Uh, and uh, we don't want to take the sting out of that announcement. So uh, that's planned currently for the weekend. So akan um, and uh, we will have some of the, as you call, newer leaders explain a bit more about the manifesto and, and what it means for this election and for Singaporeans as well. So far, the party has revealed nine out of the 21 candidates that it plans to field. They're a mixture of new and old faces. When asked whether he's concerned about the speed of rejuvenation, party chief Pritam Singh said it's important not to rush this process. It's important to get people who are committed to public service. And I think that was a point Ra uh, Raisa alluded to earlier. Now, if we have people with that spirit, with that attitude, with that passion, then the speed of rejuvenation, I think, will take on a life of its own. But we should not force that process and force individuals who are not prepared to stand and represent the interests of Singaporeans strongly, fearlessly in Parliament uh, if they're not ready to. So that's where we, we stand. Now, out of the five prospective candidates introduced by the Workers' Party today, two will be standing for the first time. Vanessa Lim tells us more. A time to build a Singapore. 26 year old Raisa Begum Farid Khan is the youngest out of the 21 potential candidates the Workers' Party is fielding in the upcoming general election. The social activist is the founder and director of programs at Reina Movement, a non profit organization that helps underprivileged women. This will be her first time standing for a general election. I've been politically engaged since I was 17. Um, I was really involved with student politics and um, I've had a lot of conversations as well here engaging politicians. Um, what I would bring to the table is a different voice. Someone who has walked the ground, someone who's involved in civil society groups and understands the concerns of young people. Another first-time potential candidate is 44-year-old James Lim. He's an associate professor of economics at Essex Business School. I want to make sure that our sandwich generation, those of us that are trying to take care of elderly parents, while also raising kids of our own, don't feel trapped by the kind of expectations um, on both ends. Familiar faces have also been added to the party slate of potential candidates. 34-year-old Ron Tan, a senior assistant manager at NUHS Research Office, contested a Nisun GRC in the 2015 general election. Mr. Tan was also a legislative assistant to the Workers' Party's ex-chief Lao Dia Kiang. The best lesson I learned from him is that you have to be responsible to your residents. You are elected to take on the responsibility to look after them, to manage the estate, to be the voice for them in Parliament, and to assist them with their day-to-day -day issues. Finance professional Dylan Ng is another potential professional who has contested before. He was fielded as a Workers' Party candidate in Marine Parade Group Representation Constituency in 2015, but lost after securing 35.9% of the votes. The 45-year-old Wealth Advisory Firm Director shared what he has learned from that experience. Basically, it's still about having the heart to serve, uh, listen to resident needs. Okay, once you have the heart to serve um, and you, you hear their pain point, I think you can truly uh, empathize with them and you can truly then stick out your conviction and say, yeah, this is the thing I want to do for you. The party also introduced former non-constituency member of parliament Dennis Tan. The 48-year-old lawyer from shipping law firm Dennis Matthew previously contested in a 2015 general election in Feng Shan's single-member constituency. Mr. Tan will contest in Aukang SMC in the upcoming election, taking over from Mr. Peng Eng Huat. And I will continue to uh, persuade as many Aukang voters as possible in this coming election, including new uh, residents who have moved in, new voters who have moved in to Aukang constituency, that this is an even more critical time to have a strong alternative voice in parliament because of the uncertainty of the days ahead. The next batch of candidates will be announced on Saturday.